Oh, welcome back to the Jason Show. Our next guest is a two-time Food Network baking champion and took on one of her biggest challenges recently. She opened up a cafe in the middle of a pandemic. Of course, please welcome the owner of the Meringue Bakery and Cafe in La Crosse. It is Jen Barney. Oh, and there it is. Hi, Jen. Hello. Hello. Oh, how does it feel to be standing in your bakery? Because you, the last time we talked to you, you were doing this out of your kitchen, basically. Yeah, yeah, out of the basement of my home. <laughs> Um, so this is a big improvement. Absolutely. Tell us about your decision. I mean, this is obviously something you were probably working on long before the pandemic, and yeah. then this happens, and you decide we're going to do it anyway. Right? You can't you can't stop the train, right? Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is years in the making, and what are you going to do, right? We had to open at some point, and um, everything was ready to go, and things are going okay. I mean, it could be better. But honestly, if anything, maybe I'm grateful that we had a slow entry. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we didn't get overwhelmed right away. That's true. You could kind of, uh, it's almost like a soft opening, a little longer than a typical soft right. opening stretch is. <laughs> a little longer than what we would hope for, but it's okay. Well, I know I personally, myself, I mean, I loved baked goods baked by other people. I, like nothing beats it. And we've done a lot of buying cupcakes and cakes at local bakeries here because it's something to bring joy to our faces when at time it's kind of challenging. Uh, for you, I know we've featured you doing uh, meringues and these gorgeous cakes where you kind of combine the two. Is that still your specialty or have you added some other stuff in too? Oh, absolutely. Um, wedding specialty cakes are definitely um, where are, we're the strongest. Uh, but you know what, especially during COVID, people aren't really having a lot of big weddings right now. So we've seen a lot of shift towards the cafe being the bulk of our business right now. So we're doing things like coffee, um, croissants made from scratch every day, breakfast sandwiches, things like that. Ooh, breakfast sandwiches. Okay, I was just gonna ask what has been the most popular thing and, and was it surprising to you? Because like you said, with people kind of scaling down things, we're not getting these big cakes uh, that we're used to right? seeing. Yeah. But like you had just said, Shane, people are still buying little indulgences because you know, five, 10 bucks here um, can go a long way in making people happy. I think one of our best sellers right now is an egg souffle sandwich. So we approach it from a baker's perspective. So the egg is a really soft, silky custard that we put on a croissant sandwich. Um, and I think it's, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful sandwich and it's delicious. Okay, this is surprising. I was sure you were gonna tell us it was gonna be a cupcake or something. Hey, I keep straining my neck. Your big, the biggest screen is right up in here. I wanna see some of that stuff you got behind you there. Is there anything you could pick up nice. and like put closer? Yeah. Not that big cake, don't drop that. There, yeah. <laughs> Right? Oh, is that the souffle? Can you see, can you see any of this? So yes. this um, is our potato chip cake. Wait, uh, what? So this is a butter, I know, right? It's so <laughs> super weird, but once you try it, it is so good. So it's a butter cake that's soaked with like a salty honey and butter syrup. And then it has potato chips on the top. Um, this is an original recipe from the bakery and it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay, wow. Right? Um, we also do a variety of individual desserts. So can you guys see this? Yes, it looks great. Yeah, thank you. So just a lot of really, you know what? We love combining art with food. So this is just a great combination of really good um, artisan desserts uh, with an artistic touch. Almost too pretty to eat, but not. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, so I know we've talked to you in the past and we mentioned that before you had a bakery, you were a corrections officer. How did you get into baking? How did those two jive? I don't know if they do. I think I was dreaming of being a pastry chef as I was a correctional officer. I, I remember that part. Um, you know, um, I've always had it in me to do something creative or, or crafty even. I mean, that was kind of the things that brought me joy. And at Christmas time every year, um, before I was a pastry chef, I would use the, I would, starting probably in October, I would start the planning of being a baker for the next two months. Because at Christmas, you could bake pretty much unlimited for, right. for family and friends and I looked forward to it every year and I treated it like it almost like a sport and I think um that just kind of kept growing and that desire in me um and here I am 15 years later uh got my got my shop finally. you did it Jen congratulations that shop is beautiful it, I mean it looks so perfect that it almost looks like you're on a green screen and that that's like a oh. picture <laughs> behind you thank you we did a lot of research I wanted it to be classy but feel like you were in like Paris in a way. Does that make sense? Yes, I can feel it. I yeah. think it's uh, Instagram mm -hmm. perfection too. So uh, we'll have to get out there soon. Thank you, Jen, so yes, much for joining do. us.
Thank you so much for right. having me. Have a good rest of the week. Remember, support local guys. Uh, MeringueBakeryCafe.com is where you can learn more. Maybe time for a little uh, close to home road trip to lacrosse. And again, Jen, big winner on those uh, food holiday food baking championship. Uh, we will be right back. After this.